The ERCOT market is still dealing with the repercussions of Winter Storm Uri in 2021, which created rolling blackouts from equipment failures across the system with dire consequences for residents in some parts of the state. The market has also been contending with changes in management at ERCOT and the PUC, multi-billion dollar settlements, and operational and policy changes ever since. It follows that the functioning of the power market at ERCOT is still headline news, particularly over the summer peak when installed generation capacity was pushed to the limit. In July of this year, peak demand exceeded 80 gigawatts for the first time ever. And there are no signs of this easing with hotter summers, the population shift towards Texas, and more electrification on the horizon. One of the most surprising aspects of the ERCOT market is the high penetration of onshore wind at 28 gigawatts, despite there being little state government support for its construction. The reason for that is simply one of good economics, rich resources, good land availability, and ease of consent. The interconnection queue, in fact, reinforces this message with over 180 gigawatts of new renewable and storage capacity waiting for grid. We see that these fundamentals continue and become strengthened in our modeling, though there are parts of ERCOT with low demand that will become increasingly volatile places for renewables until battery storage is commissioned in significant volumes. Our nodal analysis shows that the growing basis risk that some projects are beginning to experience will only become more of a common story in the years ahead and will not dissipate until the installation of widespread flexibility assets or transmission reinforcement. ERCOT is also particularly well positioned to take a leading role in the development of green and blue hydrogen, given its existing hydrogen and industrial gas industry, infrastructure, hydrocarbon availability, and for green hydrogen, the low cost of green power. In that vein, we have received massive interest in ERCOT's hydrogen potential, not only from the oil and gas community, but from investors and industrial users as well. And we've noted a particular uptick in interest since the incentives released for hydrogen under the IRA earlier this year.